silliest part you want to marry me next, Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it. And bet your 20,000 pounds you can't hit the bed. Around the world in 80 days. Passepartout. So far, we marry Belinda Mays. Passepartout. It's come down. Yes, no place. At your service. Stop Bob from travelling around the world in 80 days. I must win that bet. Bob may fail because of fix. And then Bob mixes, his tricks, his tricks. Around the world with... Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Fix to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. Ah, as his companion shall watch out for Monsieur Fix. Around the world in 80 days, so far, they're very blind amazed. Around the world with Bob It means that in life, we should always put first things first, like the horse before the cart. And in this case, before putting on my hat, I should put on my pants. Oh, very clever, monsieur! And then, we should pack the bag. But uh, what is there to pack today? All we must do is ride the horse and carriage to the 12 o'clock train for Brindisi! But there are still items of preparation. First, the camera. On our way to the train station, we pass by the National Museum, the perfect place to take my picture as proof for Lord Mays that I was here in Rome. Very well, the camera! What else? This. An apple? <laughs> Parlez-vous! What a wonderful aroma! We must be careful to pack this well! Our horse goes wild whenever he smells an apple! What else? Nothing more. Good! Now we can go! Not yet. Don't put the cart before the horse. Again? The cart and horse? First things first, Passepartout. I must brush my teeth. <laughs> Well, here we are at Rome's ancient Colosseum, Mr. Fix. Now what? Follow the instructions in the wire you received, Mr. Fix. Well, let me see what Lord Mays has to say, Mr. Fix. I am arriving today in Rome with master plan to fix fog. Go to Colosseum and draw a big circle in the sand. Well, that's it, Mr. Fix. And here we go. <laughs> I wonder why Lord Mays wanted me to come here, and why he wanted me to draw a circle in the sand. Fix! Fix! Where in blizzards is that fool? What? This is all. What are you doing under there? No wonder you can't stop fog and you spend all your time hiding under gliders. But your lord, be quiet! Why is Phileas Fogg still on schedule in his journey around the world in 80 days? He's a crafty blight, your lordship. Seems to be prepared for every blooming trick I fix. Oh, he does, does he? Well, I have a plan which cannot fail. After this day, Phileas Fogg shall never be able to complete his journey on time. <laughs> Why not, your lordship? Even at this very moment, first part of my master plan is going into action at the hotel where Fogg is staying. <laughs> Here, boy. I am Phileas Fogg. The package for you, sir. 
Well, then, let's have it. It's outside, the sun. Outside? Outside? What in the world is it doing outside? It's too big to come in through the door, sir. Parlez-vous? What is it? I can't say, but it is a very large. I hear nothing inside. Stand back! It is probably a fix tricks. There is a tiger in there, or a bear, or a lion, maybe. Nonsense. There is nothing alive in that crate. Bellman, fetch us a crowbar. If you please. How heavy is it, then? Oh, very heavy, monsieur. I say, here's a note. Dear Phileas, here is a surprise to help you get around the world in 80 days. Love, <laughs> Blinda. Maybe it's a horse. No, no, no. We have a horse. Perhaps an elephant or a boat or a camel. The uh, crowbar, sir. Thank you. Here, Pass Batu, have a go at it, but be careful. We must not damage it. What is it? It is all around. Never mind that. Get off the rest of the crate. Toto, be careful. Now the wrapping paper. Parlez-vous! A beautiful carriage! Not just a carriage, Pasta too. A horseless carriage. I have heard of these things, but I never thought to see one. It's not! Parlez-vous! Let us ride to the museum! Uh, but wait. Uh, what of our friend, uh, the horse? You are right, monsieur. We must take our friend the horse along to find him a new home. Be careful there. Parlez-vous! I almost forgot. I must not put the cart before the horse. So I shall tie the horse onto the side. Pull into that livery stable across the street. Good morning. I have come here to find a new home for my friend. How much do you want for him, senor? <laughs> no, no, my good man. I meant my horse. How much do you want for the horse? No charge. But I insist that you sell him for two lire to the first man who comes in wearing a derby hat. <laughs> a strange request, but since I will make money, the answer is yes. Good. Be careful, monsieur, of getting an apple near this horse. He can smell an apple for miles, and he always goes wild to get it. I shall remember. Good, Joe. Now we can be on our way. You may drive. How fast will it go? Oh, ten miles per hour, I should think. Parlez-vous! So fast! Monsieur Fix will never catch us now! It looks as if we shall get to see Rome after all, Monsieur! Oh! There, there is the French Academy! Oh! Students of art and music were there!
is about to build a machine which will put an end to Fog's journey. You may proceed, Herr Hammerschlemmer. Yeah, boy, I have smuggled all of the parts in from Germany. A very difficult job. Once, when I was going off of the mountains, I came... Yes, 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 yeah, but do get on with it, old boy. We haven't much time and none to waste. Ah, so, but I work only in the secret, so you wouldn't see what I'm doing. So, I'm beginning under the blanket. Oh, the window. This is the Monte Tutorial Palace, where the Chamber of Italian Deputies meet. And over there is the Madama Palace, Monsieur. Is it not where all the senators meet? <laughs> And over here is the Pantheon, built by Hadrian in the second century AD. It is a Christian church now, and contains the tombs of many kings and families. Now main work is done. Well, let's see it. Let's see it. Never mind the dramatics. Take off that confounded blanket. Oh, it's a horseless carriage. Precisely. Now I see the picture. You got me this so I can outrun fog in his horse and cart. Very clever, your lordship. Pleasure to work with such a smart man. Now I'll be able to keep that fog in my sights every minute. That way he can never outdo me quiet, you fool. And watch where you're going. And of course, you missed the whole point. This horseless carriage is exactly like one fog received today. One he thinks Blinder sent him. Although, of course, it was really I. He's got a horseless carriage, too? Then what good will this one do me? Whee! I think I've learned now how to steal it, monsieur. I do hope so, lad. We've already frightened half of Rome. But I have learned, monsieur, and now I can drive straight to the National Museum. <laughs> I don't see what good this horseless carriage will do me if Fog has one exactly like it. Simple. You will steal a valuable painting from the National Museum and let everyone see you running away in this carriage. I'll get it. When Fog goes there in his horseless carriage to take the picture, <laughs> everyone will think he's the thief, so he'll be thrown in jail. Precisely. But how can I be sure Fog will arrive at the museum at just the right time? Yeah, I'm taking care of that. Although Fog doesn't know it yet, he'll be stopping at the small gift shop. <laughs> Nipple over and let me out to wait for him. This is the Spanish Square we are entering now, Passepartout. But we should not take the time to stop, no, monsieur? What is it? Parlez-vous! What can it mean? Is something wrong with our horseless car? Calm yourself, lad. Ah, here it is. Obviously, this clock was set to go off so we would find this message. What message? What does it say? It is signed... <sighs> Blinda. And it reads, Phileas, my dear, on your way to the railroad station, please stop in a gift shop and buy me a silver scout. Parlez-vous! There is a silver gift shop directly across the street! The hour for our train grows near. Let me hurry into the shop and buy the statue, monsieur. Very well, lad, but be quick about it. Monsieur, I wish to buy a silver statue as a gift. Mm, it sounds like you want something for a lady, young man. How's this? Strange, but this person seems familiar. Uh, no, no, the statue must be much larger and nicer than that one. Here, this will do. I can't let him go yet. Fix isn't ready at the museum. No, no, my good ma'am. Uh, you need something nicer than that. Oh, please, monsieur, that was much too heavy. No, of course. Not nearly as one that is completely hollow. You can even dress up in it for a mask. <laughs> 
in Rome, exactly like this one. As <laughs> a likely story. I'll tell you what. You show me another such carriage, and I'll let you guys free as the bird. Very well. The apple, please, Passepartout. 
A moment now while the air carries the fragrance. Now, uh, what's happening? Why are we slowing down? I don't know, you lordship. We're going backwards! It's that blooming horse! There you are, officer. The other horseless carriage. And there is the painting in the back. This all could never resist this mellow and happy. And lucky he could not. Oh, he just had time to make the train to Brindisi. But wait! Where did we go wrong? I can answer that, Monsieur Six. You forgot to remember. Never put the cart before the horse. I should have listened to me, mother. <laughs> Good show, Pat Batu. Around the world in 80 days, Pat Batu, so Pat may marry Brenda May. Pat Batu, Pat may fail because of fits, and then Pat nicks his nicks his tricks. Around the world with Pat Batu. Around the world in 80 days, so Pat may marry Brenda May. Around the world with. 